Alright guys, what's up and welcome back to another YouTube video. So, today's video is a little bit different. Um, so, I don't know if you guys heard about the cyclones in New Zealand, the cyclone Gabriel. So that has wiped out our area. So, I'll show you guys around. We were on the top of that roof just there. And we were holding on for eight hours until we got rescued. And just so you guys don't know, I'm filming on my phone because I don't have a laptop, cameras. I did save my, um, I did find my GoPros and they work. So I do have GoPros, but I don't have a big, big nice camera. I don't have a microphone. I don't, I don't have a drone anymore. I don't have a computer. So it's all going to be on my phone for now until I figure that out. Okay, so this is my story about what has happened. Me and my dad went for a drive in the um, early early mornings to see if we could drive off to work. And then as we drove off, and then we saw the water on on each side of us from the creek along the road, um, from the side of the road, it actually went over the road. And, and then we and then we just drove through it, and then we went to Bugafi Road, and then we saw it actually quite high in Bugafi Road, and, and then we were like, holy! So then we turned around, came back, and then we noticed that the water on the on the road was actually getting higher, and then and then we were like, what? And then we got back home and then we tried to get some service because there was no service at the time. And then we tried to get some service to call um, my dad's friend and stuff, you know. And then um, as they were doing that, so there's this, these hedges across the road, so they were um, see-through. And we, we could actually see the water flowing our way. And it was like, it was generally like a freshwater tsunami except slow, slow motion. So then the, um, the water came down and then it went into the ditch and it came up again and then it started just pouring over the road. And then, and then we saw that and, and we were like, oh my God. So then we ran inside and we woke up my brother and sister and, and, then, we, and then we just went and grabbed everything that we could off the ground and stuff onto our beds, thinking that that would improve. And then we heard the water um, rumbling through the floorboards of our house and our house is 600 mils off the ground so it was already over half a meter and then it was just pouring and then it started like like seeking through like you know coming through the floorboard floorboards and it was just brown brown muddy muddy water and then we were like oh my god so then my dad actually already grabbed the ladder and then he had it all ready to go for us to get on the roof and, and we weren't expecting about we were only expecting about knee height in the house and then we got on the roof and we were on the first part of the roof for about three three to four hours. And then it actually got up to that roof and we were never ever expecting that. So then we had to go up to the second ridge. And, and this one is like a little point and we were on that for about two and a half hours with a numb and sore butt. Like far out. Oh, I almost fall, fell twice and, and that was mad. And then as we were on that ridge, I actually saw, um, well, the whole family saw our cat going in the current um, and that was quite creepy of our cat just trying to grab onto anything except there was no grip and the current was that strong it didn't you know and then thank god she grabbed onto our pear tree down the back and if she didn't swim towards us she wouldn't have got their pear tree because she would have gone straight past it right up to the ocean so thank god she grabbed onto that pear tree and swam towards us and that was actually the first river bank that broke because, and that's why we got so much water. So, so we had one river and then the banks and then the banks just bursted. So all that water flowed to us and then that probably got about head height for that river. And then we noticed th that the water started swirling and then it started going the opposite way and the water started getting higher like so quick. And, and then we realized, oh my God, the other river bank has broken. And then we saw the chicken coop. Yeah, so we did have a chicken. Sadly, she passed away during that. Um, and then the chicken coop floated because it's made out of timber. And I'm happy that it was made out of timber or when it floated. And so as it floated and then it got stuck on the um, and then it got stuck on the fence, our cat grabbed onto that chicken coop, swam towards it, grabbed and just dug its nails, dug her nails into the chicken coop. So yeah, she grabbed on and then and the water got even higher. And then we pointed to our cat three hundred meters away from us and he took us to grab her. And then the chicken coop just floated away. Um, to our left and then and then um, 
Yeah, so we had to get up on the roof at about 9.30. And then the... And then we had a rescue boat finally grab us after eight hours on the roof. And probably about the sixth hour of being on the roof, we had to move up to the top, top ridge. And we had about a foot left of roof. And that's really high off the ground, man. So, yeah, we got rescued after eight hours on the roof. We had choppers all around us trying to spot people. Choppers were um, grabbing people out of trees. We saw dead cows, sheep, uh, and we heard about dogs and cats, which is quite sad. Well, all, all everything is sad, man, at the moment. All this has been all cleared out, so that's nice. That was that. This is cleared out quite well. There's my room. It's no longer. <laughs> 